WKO two-minute tutorial on how to set your FTP. The process is simple enough. Simply open the athlete you want to uh, set your FTP for. Click on their name to launch their athlete details. Your metrics box might be closed. You notice this small arrow pointing to the right. It's closed. Just click it till it points down and you'll see all the available metrics. Select your threshold that you're looking for. In this example, I'm using bike threshold power, but it works the same for bike heart rate or run power or you know whatever threshold you're setting. The system is the same. Once you've selected, you will see the UI box open here. All I need to do, and I already have, I just threw some in here as an example. All you need to do to add or delete a threshold setting is to click the plus minus. If I add one, it will add it to today, but let's say I wanted to do five days ago. All I need to do is click on the date, and I'm going to say that was the 17th. So let me just get it in there. So I'm going to change that to 17, let it save, and let's say I wanted to click change the actual setting to 275. This athlete got faster. I set it to 75 and my thresholds are entered. Now if you need to go back and enter multiple thresholds, so let's say you just downloaded WKO5 and you're trying to make it align with your Training Peaks account, you want to go back about 90 to 100 days of threshold changes and just go ahead and set those up and take a look. Um, if you remember when you saved your threshold settings, that would help you in Training Peaks, but if not, you can estimate. Typically just by taking the average, you'll get, you know, and setting that for 90 days, you'll get your CTL within three or four points. You don't need to actually record every exact change. If it's basically 275, enter 275 starting 100 days ago, and you'll find your CTLs will align pretty well. Hope that helps.